Here you are, Diogo Marcos. Today I'm going to take a look at the case of Nico Avocado that has been like going on the news for, for a bit. And I just wanted to provide my take on it because I think it's just a marketing stunt. Do this great at marketing, so like marks 10 out of 10, like without a doubt. But for the rest of it, like some sort of evilish thing, two steps ahead and behind and to the left and to the right, like who cares? Is he going to, in any way, going to pay your mortgage today or help you with your house bills or get, getting food on your table? No, it's just entertainment value. So you watch that person if that's your thing, because it's entertaining. If you find that type of stuff entertaining. Other than that, there's not pretty much you can learn from it. Other than like if some sort of motivation or any, any other type of stuff, like when you make like, overweight and getting thin. But other than that, so what's the point? So it's... It's going way off the charts because people like preying on people's downfall because it's something that uh, people mediocre people do that they prey on people's downfall because they, they don't want to feel alone when they are in the shit that's horrible you should look up you should look up at like people are doing better than you and like trying to understand like the shit that you're not doing well so that you can do better that's the way to improve things think about it you have a college exam or something, are you, are you honestly going to like start talking with people that are not going to pass? No. You want to learn with a guy that actually knows how to do advanced maths or whatever the case, that he does well, right? That's how you improve. Not like preying on people's downfall. So I find it like very distasteful. But that's how society works. People like thrive on that stuff because for the most part, the great majority of people are mediocre. They, they, they're not doing anything special on earth. They just think they're special. And you thinking about you being special and actually doing something that people need, right? There's a, there's a conflict there. You're not that special unless you do something that is special to people, that people use. And then you need to get out of their own, their, their way because they don't need you. It's like, it's like you say, you provide, you provide the book. So people like read the book. They don't care about you. They, they want to learn how to move from point A to point B. So that's the whole thing with where you are and where you want to be. You want to eat, you want to get a car, you want to get a girlfriend, you want to get a boyfriend, you want to get like a house or a video camera or whatever, right? Get out of their own way. So people going off on rants and just analyzing this like the huge drama about it. I just wanted to provide my take because this is so stupid. This is so stupid. That kudos to the person that is doing better now. If you like actually lost weight and doing better. If that's the case, but you don't know because marketers are great bullshitters. You don't know unless like people tell you because they actually know the person. If today is still fat or is like is now thin now or this is <laughs> this is so silly. This is so silly. If you are watching this, because I doubt you will, but if you're actually watching this, dude, kudos for like becoming better, like great. But other than that, the evilish stuff, like get over it. Help people with marketing. Because this is something that you do well. If, if you actually lost weight, if that's your thing, right? if you know how to do it, right? help people do that. Right? Now coming up on like some sort of rant, like, like you're evilish, like you're absolutely irrelevant to society. You in any way are not going to help like millions of people today pay their mortgage or eat today or get a car. So people watch you because it's entertaining to them. That's it. If they stop finding you entertaining because people have the attention span of a goldfish, they start watching someone else. So if, if, if your whole thing is to like losing your audience, it just, it, this is so silly, man. I just wanted to provide my, my take because I think this is blown way over charts of proportion because I think for the most part, like it's YouTube, like kids watching this essentially. As you start growing up, like you find your own way. Even if you're failing in life, and like 99.9% .9 of things you do, you will fail. That's that's how life works. So you actually get one out of like the whole thing that compensates for the, all the shit that you went through. But other than that, I really don't see the point of this. I just wanted to provide my take. Cause like number one, like. 10 points for marketing, like two hands, 10 points for marketing. This is a great marketer, like marketers are great bullshitters. So you don't know like which one is at right now. If it's doing better, great. If it's still in the same, you'll do better next time. But other than that, this is, this is too silly. I just wanted to provide my tech. 
because this is just clownish stuff like the, the whole point like people like going on gigantic videos about an, uh, two hours straight analyzing someone that started like thin and then fat and then thin and then again and then just this is so silly man. but a anyway i just wanted to uh, provide you my take i'll start doing some more videos if you like these types of videos and anyway let me know in the comments below what you thought about the video and i'll see you in the next one thanks